Warning. This experiment involves highly corrosive and toxic chemicals, some silver salts are highly energetic and involve high risk of explosion. Gloves, goggles, and lab coat are absolutely mandatory. The Tolan's reaction is a quite old reaction used to detect the presence of aldehydes, in this reaction the silver plus ions are transformed into silver diamine complex, this complex is able to react with the aldehyde in a redox reaction, the aldehyde is oxidized to the carboxylic acid while the silver complex is reduced to metallic silver, due to the formation of the metallic silver, the reaction can be used to create a silver mirror by the deposition of silver particles on a clean surface. Materials and reagents required Household ammonia Silver nitrate Glucose Nitric acid Distilled water First 0.56 grams of glucose are dissolved in 12 milliliters of distilled water. Then 0.85 grams of pure silver nitrate are dissolved in 50 milliliters of distilled water, it is important that the silver nitrate is relatively pure, if not the reaction might not work as good as expected. Now we have to somehow activate the silver plus ions into a more reactive form, this is done by the addition of an aqueous solution of ammonia, as the ammonia is added. The silver plus ions react with the hydroxide of the alkaline solution to produce a brown-black precipitate of silver oxide, then we keep adding more ammonia until the precipitate redis solves, at this point the ammonia reacted with the silver oxide to produce a silver diamino complex in solution. Now. The silver diamine complex solution is poured into an RB flask or any other container, the flask has been cleaned thoroughly with nitric acid and distilled water, if not the mirror will not be as shiny as expected, then 5 ml of the glucose solution is poured into the RB flask. Now a cork is placed on the mouth of the RB flask, and then the flask is shaken for a while, in my case the whole process took about 10 minutes. It is extremely important to constantly shake the RB flask, this will ensure a homogeneous deposition of the silver particles on the surface of the container. As the reaction proceeds, the glucose reacts with the silver diamino complex in the presence of hydroxide to produce metallic silver particles. From the reduction of the silver complex to metallic silver, as well as the formation of gluconic acid from the oxidation of glucose. As you can see as the reaction proceeds the solution goes from a yellow to a brown black color corresponding to the presence of silver microscopic particles in suspension. This reaction can be performed with different aldehydes not just with glucose, but glucose is typically used as it is water soluble. Once the mirror is formed the remaining solution is drained out through the tap, as it might contain silver nitride, which is a highly energetic compound. The RB flask is then washed a couple of times with distilled water. In order to remove the silver from the walls of the container just add some nitric acid. Thanks for watching.